So this is how I use the Ichimoku clouds to look at a basket of stocks. So here is uh, 12 stocks and I'm trying to find the time frame that's presenting the resistance for me. So here an example for Apple. There's uh, an area up here that's important to me so I've shaded it but it's getting resistance on the one minute. So I'm going to wait till it breaks through the one minute and then move to the five minute and see if that's more favorable for me. Um, we can go to NTAP down here. NTAP is really interesting. I've already switched to the 30 minute here because all of the other time frames for NTAP are, here's the one minute, it's trading above the cloud, starting to come down. Five minute, trading above the cloud. 15 minute, trading above the, uh, coming down now to touch the cloud. So that's the important one to me. So if I'm going to set a stop, um, my stop is right there. It's under a fib level, but I'm going to be worried about here. This is an easy place for um, for resistance for support rather to be broken. Uh, on mosaic, uh, the one minute chart is a problem. If it's going to go anywhere, it's got to break the one minute cloud. I can switch to the five minute and see that we've got quite a ways to go before it hits the five minute clouds. It's not a stock that interests me right now, um, but if I wanted to short Mosaic, I would be um, certainly looking at the one minute and seeing if it fails uh, this support area on the one minute and then taking it as a short. FCX, you can see that FCX, it's on the 15 minute chart where you're finding uh, resistance. Uh, Sohu was a good trade this morning. I was trading it on a narrower time frame, one minute. Um, let's look at silver. Silver, 15 minute. Um, challenge is going to be there. Uh, let's look at five minute time frame. So actually the challenge for silver now is going to be First thing, if we're looking to go long, we've broken the one minute. The next thing to look on the one minute is for the trailing Chiku line to break through the one minute cloud. And it's very thin here, so there's a good possibility. If we're not comfortable trading the one minute, we can look at the five minute. And the long signal for uh, silver would be a break of the five minute cloud. And this Chiku coming up here and breaking through the top of the cloud is added confirmation. Uh, we've got thinning support in here, so a break on the five minute could come back and test very thin support. So that's um, how I use it swapping between time frames to look for resistance, uh, points of entry, and where subsequent support would be.